So we have Frozen. So yeah, we have Hard to Let Go, Resisting Change. We have Money Focus, okay. Money over love, money affecting your love life. Somebody's choosing money over love. Or maybe there's a need for you to focus on your money instead. We have the Five of Wands. So there's some type of conflict over money that someone's focusing on. Tell me more. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's finding it hard, I feel like, to find their independence. Okay, free themselves. It could have something with financial independence. Tell me more. So we have the Empress. Someone's finding it hard to let you go because you are divine feminine, divine masculine energy. You are in the vibration of love. All right. There's like true love there. So someone's feeling, feeling like it's hard to let you go. So, but somebody is also resisting change. We have temperance here. Patience, harmony, perfect balance of love. We have page of pentacles. Somebody, they may, somebody maybe got like an, a, um, an offer, a financial offer. What's this have to do with my collective? We have the magician wants you. So somebody wants to come in with some type of offer here or communication in regards to stepping up and being like the king of pentacles type energy, loyal, secure, taking love, taking you more seriously, making things manifest, what you want wants you. So um, yeah, you guys could be this nine of pentacles energy. This person that is like free and independent um, to absorb. Somebody is having a hard time, Like, but there's like this, this stuck energy, stalemate, indecision. Somebody could have a choice between two paths, but with the world here, it's one of these cycles or some cycles coming to an end here, okay? Um, let's see. We have Taurus energy here. We have Sag energy here. We have Aries energy. Yeah, okay. So we have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy, we have Taurus with the Hierophant here. Um, somebody wants commitment with you. Someone's getting a new perspective about you. Wanting to have like something balanced and fair and reciprocal with you. They're awakening to, yeah, they're awakening. Someone's about to surrender to this connection, y'all. So when you're seeing the number 44, when you see the number 44, you see these fours, this is a message from the universe that someone's about to put some work and effort. See, what is somebody's working on? Tell about the devil. The sun. Someone's working on their toxic habits or destructive habits or ways. They're working on it. Yeah, three of cups. It could be like a toxic, destructive, like th third party. Like someone's growing. What does this mean specifically for my collective? We have the two of pentacles, juggling, weighing options. Like somebody's trying to make a decision between you and something else. What is the other thing that's not my collective? What is the other thing that they're trying to make a decision about? The five of cups. It's like some type of what they view as like, or what does this have to do with anything? The five cups, the cold, cold as ice, inconsiderate behavior. Somebody has regrets. Somebody has regrets for treating you um, like cold or in, in an inconsiderate way, giving you mixed signals. What does this have to do with my collective though? The five of cups, the cold as ice. What's have to do with my collective? The page of swords, okay? And the three of swords, Okay. Somebody wants, yeah, somebody wants to know if you have another person or if like you're upset over them. Somebody's trying to get information on you. Seven of Swords. Somebody or some, oh, I thought it was the Seven of Swords. It's the Seven of Pentacles. Someone's reevaluating something now. In what way? I feel like somebody's not wanting to throw in the towel just yet. Okay. Yeah, they're not wanting to, mm, some of you guys have cut this person off and you're having a new beginning. Some of you guys have new love or that that's what somebody is thinking. That like you finally have given up on them. They're having this awakening now though. It says your connection is protected. Trust the journey. Yeah, six of swords, ready to move on, better times ahead. What does that have to do with this connection? It's like you guys are, oh, you guys are both wanting to move into calmer waters. Healing. Yeah, you guys both need to heal. Yeah. Seven of Swords. What about Seven of Swords? The Five of Swords. Yeah, there is some type of betrayal here. Maybe you guys both need to heal from betrayal. You guys have maybe both been like through betrayal and toxic love situations and you guys like infidelity and lies. Um, what does that do with this person? Four of Cups. Yeah, someone's just not... 
if somebody just say that this person did have options they're not happy with any of those options they're like rejecting these people it's the masculine energy the chariot and the hermit Mm. okay justice what does this mean for my collective divine timing it's like in divine timing this person's going to come out of this hermit mode and take action towards you and surrender to this connection but right now they still have yet to to be awakened to this forbidden yeah F family and friends maybe don't approve or there's just big differences yeah page of cups Undecided. We're talking about forbidden. Wants you back. Yeah, somebody wants you back, but it's why is it forbidden though? Two of Cups. Because somebody is like in a relationship already. What about the Two of Cups? The Knight of Wands. Lustful risk. Why is this a risk? Internal. Somebody's internally conflicted. Conflicted. Wishing. Hmm. Why do they feel like it's forbidden? That's what I want to know. Why is it forbidden? Is it, are there people that don't approve of this connection? What is, what is it? Why is it forbidden, spirit? Why is this forbidden? See, we have the queen of pentacles. Abundance, confidence, period of stability. Okay. Why? Maybe they feel like you're out of their league. What about the queen of pentacles? Yeah, they're getting some type of clarity or breakthrough that what? Ten of wands. They need to release something. What about the Ten of Wands? Or they're realizing, yeah, love is arising, romantic proposals. What does that do with my collective? What's the tea? They want to know what's going on with you. I'm telling you, because you've cut them off. Some of you guys can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn watching. They feel like you're moving. Yeah, they want to know if you've moved on. Yeah, the masculine. The masculine wants to know. If you've moved on from them. Yeah, the forbidden. See, forbidden's coming out again. Sexual encounter. You, you, maybe you told this person you're no longer settling for just like lust. Yeah, separation time is needed. Yeah, this person, you're not dealing. Okay, yeah, that's what this is, y'all. Tell me the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe this person feels that at this time, all they can offer you is like passion. And you're no longer settling for just yet for that, just that. So they know that like you're not going to let them come back. Until they boss up, until they come towards you correct. So that's why they're viewing you. They, they, I feel like this person doesn't feel like you, you, they feel like you're out of their league or they're not on the same level as you. How does this person view themselves, spirit? How does this person view themselves? Five of Pentacles. See? But yeah, they don't feel good enough. They feel rejected. They feel lonely. They feel left out in the cold. They feel betrayed. They feel like they're, they're heartbroken. Yeah. Yeah. With the five of they don't they feel lack they view you as the queen of pentacles abundant confident period you're going through a period of stability stable they view themselves as the five of pentacles the five of pentacles is usually somebody that's like going through financial issues they feel unworthy they they, they feel like insecure like they don't feel good enough yeah they feel like you're going to reject them in the, in the energy that they're in right now so they feel like they can't come towards you right now so that's what Spirit is trying to show you when you see the number 44, um, is that there's somebody that wants to come toward you, um, but they don't feel like they, it's, they feel like it's forbidden right now because they know that you're like, you're, they feel like, I just saw 944 on the camera when I'm saying this. They don't feel like they're, you guys are on the same page, like you're not, they feel like they're too different from you. They don't feel like they're on the same level as you. They don't have anything to offer you. I feel like they want to have something balanced with you, but they don't feel like right now they're in a place to be able to offer you anything. Um, let's see if there's any other circumstances, um, that you need to know about in regards to this connection, why things are not working out or panning out between the two of you right now. Tell me more, Spirit. So you have trick or treat, playing games. Yeah, they don't feel they can take, they can offer you something serious right now. Lady spider web, new connection, shaping your reality, bringing together past, present, and future. But it's like this person does not want you with anybody else. Like they're they're curious to know if you've met somebody else or if you're moving on to somebody new. But they just feel like also they can't come towards you because they don't have anybody. They don't have anything to offer you, and they know that it's just gonna you're gonna cut them off again, or you're not gonna even let them in. It's a waste of their time. 
Fair is fair. Yeah, justice, balance, mutual. Yeah, you want to mutually. You maybe even told this person that you wanted a, like a connection that was mutually beneficial. And if it wasn't that, you didn't want it. Like you, you, if you, if they couldn't take you seriously, you didn't want it. Yeah, we have creeping doubt, hesitation, skepticism, pessimism. Tell me more about that. Infinite abundance. Yeah. Magical gateway. Go for it. Somebody skeptical or hesitant to like take a, a leap of faith on something that could be this for them. Infinite abundance. But it's like, I feel like you guys have become like pessimistic or not so quick to entertain this person anymore because you feel things are going well for you or they will be. You're in this energy of abundance and you're going to even have even more blessings coming in for you. And you're in, in this energy of knowing your worth and your value. Um, and Spirit says you're on the right path. What's this mean for this person? Yeah. Cost of, yeah. This person's like, they're hard to, they're a narc. Some of you guys are dealing with a narc. Some of you guys are, or they're just, they're like more comfortable with a superficial relationship right now. They're living in maybe some type of illusion. Yeah, they want more of like a situationship or something. What does not amuse me for this person? Pretty bride, commitment. They choose you. What is why is that have, what does that mean for my my collective? So you're the ones that are fed up. Man, yeah, it's like you're trying to you're fed up and you're trying to manifest. Sorry guys, my camera shut off. So back to what I was saying. Everything is coming to you very easily. I feel like you were sick of wasting your time on this person. Um, you just feel like they're not worth waiting for anymore and you feel like nothing good will come of it. So you, you're getting this energy of fed up. You're tired of dealing with this narcissistic type energy, but you're fed up, but this person still wants you. They're thinking about commitment and marrying you and choosing you. Um, tell me about co this cost of vanity. The clock is slow. Someone's in this illusion or what does that mean? Epiphany. Someone's, this person's realizing something. Someone's realizing that they're about to lose you. This person, you know, narcissists live in these illusions. This person, if they're not a narcissist, they just thought that you would never get fed up with them or that you would never like, that you, that at some point you guys would just end up together or something like that. But that they felt like this person just thought that they had more time than they thought they did. The clock is ticking now. Yeah, they thought that they had forever in a lifetime, but they're about to realize that, like, I feel like some of you guys are going out with your friends or they were trying to keep things casual with you or something like that. I'm going to clarify friendship, but it's like they're getting jealous, scared of losing you, don't want to share you, protective over you. Okay, so tell me about friendship. The unexpected. Shocking. What's the unexpected? photographs the past so this person's coming back out of nowhere wanting friendship confidence what are they wanting what is their intentions with them coming back or have they, they're having this shocking realization they're coming back but they still got baggage so i still find this person is still not going to be able to offer you like they're going to want to be keeping it casual versus having this divine union here but you're gonna, you're not gonna be allowing this person back in. We have setting firm boundaries. Yeah, the light of their life, setting an example. Mm. You're teaching this person something. Okay, so I wanted to see why is this person getting jealous? Is it because you're not letting them back in? Right here, waiting expectations. Yeah, they have the expectation of something. Wow, did this person think that you would be just waiting for them? Right here, waiting, expectations, yearning, and longing, waiting period. So what are they thinking that you, you're really letting them go? Mystical shaman. Okay, what about that? What does that have to do with them having this revelation? Divine hand. So the divine is doing something here. Some of you guys have uh, abilities here. What about mystical shaman? Fanned out, available, no limits or restrictions, willingness to be vulnerable. What does that do with a mystical shaman? You're kind of healing this person. I love the divine. Yeah. Negative emotions, anger, resist, resist, resentment, frustration, annoyance, feeling wronged. Why is someone feeling wronged? 
Somebody knows you're under one of a kind. They know they won't find another you. You're irreplaceable. But they've been fighting this because that maybe because they were hurt and betrayed in the past. But you're like a, a new refreshing energy to them. You're you you're different from their usual type. But I feel like they've been trying to like not show you this or something like that. I don't know, y'all. They've been like not wanting to surrender to a, a like a normal traditional relationship with you. All right, so Spirit, tell me why this person's getting so jealous to wrap up this portion of the reading. Why is this person getting so jealous? See, because of outside, because it says others are affecting the outcome, listening to other people's opinions. So it could be some, somebody had a reading like this earlier. I think it might've been Leo. So some of you guys could be Leos, but it's like, there's something external from this connection that's making them, I don't know. I don't know if they know that they feel like you have another person or there's something that somebody's telling them that's making them look at things differently. Like, you know, like when you're telling your friends like, oh, this, this person that I'm dating this person and they're doing this, this, and this. And you think you're like, I think it's, I don't know. I think that it's because of this. They're like gir girl or dude. That person had, they're dating somebody else. They ghosted you. It's because they have another person. And they're like, you really think so? 444 on the camera when I'm saying that. So that's what's happening here. Somebody is making this person feel like they're talking to somebody about you. And somebody is saying like, oh no, the, the reason why they ghosted you or they blocked you or they abruptly ended things with you or it's because they found somebody new. They have another person. And like, I feel like this person like was for some reason in denial about this. Like they thought that you were never going to move on from them. They thought that you guys were locked in. And now they're really like realizing like, oh shit, like maybe the collective did find somebody else. Maybe that is why they're, they're acting different lately. Maybe that is why they're not chasing me like they used to. Like it's something along the lines of that. Tell me, give me one more card. We have drinking to forget. So yeah, trying to move on on the rebound, deeply missing you. So this person's been trying to like move on from you or even maybe find somebody to replace you, but that's not going to work out. Yeah, they're going to be starting going, they're going to start going through a dark night of the soul. Or they're just deeply missing you. They try to do things to numb their pain if it's not that they're on the rebound. Rebirth process, self-discovery, dark night of the soul. Yeah, drinking to forget, the study room. Yeah, I feel like this person is like, they're in the process of really learning how to love. Like, yeah, deep wisdom. Yeah, they're learning. Read between the lines. Be wise and pay attention. You can see the truth clearly about, yeah, inner child. Somebody needs to heal, has to need some inner child healing. Maybe both of you. We have, yeah, so that this blessed union can come together. You and this person are meant to be together. And it's like, yeah, ocean of tears, emotional loss and defeat. Deep sadness, heartbreak, regrets, and mistakes. Roll the dice. But it's like, what, so why, what are they needing to roll the dice with? What's the risk that my collective needs to take? Painting red, yeah, trying to fix it. This person puts you through a lot. Six forty four on the camera. Well, I see, I feel like you guys are maybe taking a risk and like going off on your own, being happy or choosing yourself, choosing to stay single. You guys aren't even probably entertaining another option. They just think you are. And although you're sad and you feel like an emotional loss without this person in your life, right? You're heartbroken over this. You're still trying to remain positive and make the best out of the situation. Or that's what spirit is encouraging you to do. All right. This is way too many cards coming out. Um, but and, yeah, but it's like a loyal companion. This person's going to come in and want to be loyal to you, devote themselves to you, but they're, they're tied or they're, they're being loyal guys to somebody that's like a karmic, karmic relationship, karmic situations, something that they're not even supposed to be in. It says the devil's domain, obsession, addiction, and poor habits, codependency. That's the problem. They're maybe being loyal to the wrong people. Okay. What does this mean for their, this connection? Battle wounds. Yeah, that's why this is an ongoing battle because this person or they just ah, they're they're holding on to these karmic they're, 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 they're needing to make a choice between whoever this toxic whoever these karmic ties are in you. Yeah, this has been definitely an ongoing battle because of this. They're, they're, they're being loyal to some toxic people, some karmics or some the karmic people, karmic situations. All right, one more. And then we'll, I feel like I do want to extend this. Yeah, jealous one. They don't, yeah, this person, just know, guys, this person does not want to lose you. They don't want to share you with anybody else. That, yeah, they want you to just be there waiting for them. But I feel like you're not doing that no more. 
you're not you're not waiting for them any longer yeah and it's like kind of said it says you're lighting the way by doing that lighting the way to yeah what is this and somebody's mad they're not happy somebody's not happy about this yeah because they feel possessive over you but the t and they want to know what's going on they're talking about you or something what is the t it's a celebration what about it what's the t in celebration rocky horse they're, they're just indecisive i feel like they're maybe they know that they're not going to find another one of you mm. all right so